The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good afternoon, folks. Welcome to the uh, November 20th. Yeah, November 20th, the wonderful Wednesday edition of today's Trader Zed Show. I'm your host, Stevie Perseverance Rhodes, who absolutely knows that each of us should always be, listen to this, pioneers of our future versus prisoners of our past. So many people become prisoners of their past. That's what stops folks from taking action. Of course, Stevie likes to say massive action. And anyway, thanks so much for uh, being here, pulling yourself away from all the riveting testimony in those impeachment hearings. Look, I'd absolutely love to hear from you. This show is really, it's all about you during this next 60 minutes. So feel free to give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't call in, well, we've got you covered there too, as long as you act early. Early means like now, which is send me an email. Steve at TFNN.com. Inside the subject heading, please put radio show question. I'll be happy to get to whatever it is that uh, you'd like me to take a look at and assist you. We'll figure out where support and resistance is or whether something is bottomed or topped or whatever it is that we can find for you. In any event, let's go ahead and get this show kicked off here. We've had a little bit of movement to the downside in the last uh, 15, 20 minutes out there. Uh, so you've got the Dow off 219 points, trading at 27, 715. S&P's off 20. NASDAQ 100 is off 1% or 85 points. The uh, semiconductor index down 1 and 3 tenths percent, 22 points. So all the indices are in the red. We've got the spot volatility index perking up a bit. It's up 69 pennies. That's a little about all over 5%. Gold's off two bucks. Silver's down a penny. Light sweet crude, a big move today. So far up a buck 54. Trade out at 56.87 out there. Natural gas up three cents. So plenty to look at. I'll lead the charge, by the way, dollar wise to the upside. Target, Target, TGT is the ticker symbol up 13 uh, bucks. 12%. Paycom Software, 13 bucks and 6%. Rieta Pharmaceuticals, one buck, um, a half a percent. Mercado Libre, up nearly a half a percent, a little over two bucks. To the downside, it is Pinduo Duo. Pinduo Duo. PDD is the ticker symbol out there, off 22 and a half percent, nine dollars. Uh, Mass Tech is off uh, nearly six bucks or eight percent. Alta Beauty, six and change. That's about two and three quarters percent. Google, down 17 buckaroonies out there. But Let's go to, we do have some questions that have come in. So should we do that or should we go take a look at the markets out here? Let's take some of these questions. All right, let's get to the questions out here because if you spend time, uh, well, we were going to do questions, but we have call ahead seating here. And you know, when we have call ahead seating, that means if you call, you go right to the head of the line. So let's go speak with Brent in Martinez, California. Brent, thanks for calling. Thanks for holding. How are you this morning? I'm doing quite well, Steve. How about yourself? Very good. Thanks so much for asking. And uh, we're going to talk about canopy growth, something we looked at uh, yesterday. I believe CGC, is that the uh, ticker symbol? It is. I sent you that email yesterday. And I yeah. think you caught it kind of towards the end of your program. Yes. Uh, again, yesterday. And I, I'm actually already sold out of the thing. I just... I don't really mess around when I get something. I don't care how quickly it happens if I... Yeah, kind of get the result that I was shooting for, and it happens quicker. You know, that's actually better for me. Sure, sure. I, I'm generally using options is what I do, and so okay. I had bought the you know, the fifteen dollar calls, uh, January twenty twenty calls on that, and then you know at a dollar, and they already went up to I got at three twenty today. So sure. sure, no reason to hang around. And but uh, I just was going to have you take a look at it. Yeah, no problem. So nice trade there. When we took a look at it going into the close uh, yesterday, what I was showing, I had drawn the three drive. So let me do that again here. Uh, the three drive to a bottom pattern. You were the one that had, had picked out that yesterday was a key reversal session. Uh, and a key reversal session, folks, uh, is where you have the prior days high and low. 
exceeded and they accomplished that yesterday. The market must be in an extended condition. There's no question that canopy growth is in an extended condition to the downside. And then you just simply need price to close up one tick, if you will, in the opposite uh, trend direction. Well, this did more than that yesterday. Uh, it created a nice big old bullish engulfing candle, confirming this three drive to a bottom pattern out there. And then you get the second bullish reversal candle today, and that is a, a gap to the upside. So both of those being bullish prices above Stevie's red line, that's 16 to 40. And that would suggest to us, uh, Brent, that this should have more f upside potential. But let's go take a look at it and figure out where that upside potential is. And it's really going to be the weekly chart. I believe we looked at the weekly chart yesterday on the show. And the weekly chart first shows the bottom of its weekly profile is 1899 let's call it 19 bucks out there so that may be a resistance level 19 or stevie's red line on the weekly time frame which price has been below for what looks like a uh, a year or more i uh, actually began trading below it back in uh, may of 20 well this is a weekly chart I apologize, folks, since May of 2019 out here. Uh, so 1975 is a potential resistance area, but it looks like it has further upside potential in it when I see it. And it was a beautiful call yesterday on your part with regard to that key reversal session. And, uh, and it's responding like that was a three drive to a bottom pattern. That doesn't mean that it's a total full out breakout, but it's, it's a good start, that's for sure. Well, thank you very much, Steve, and good luck to anybody else who's still in it. Yeah, I, I wish him well. <laughs> have, yeah, a, yeah, yeah, have, yeah. A, have a great day. Yeah, I just I don't mess around when I've made money like that. I I just take it and no, uh, no I, doubt. I'll even trade the thing again. Who knows? I might somewhere down the road. But I, I hear did you. what I wanted, did it fast, and happy. With, you know, it was a total gift, and just kind of move on. So well, that, thank that's you very a much thing. for your help. You have a you wonderful bet. day, and I'll talk to you soon. Okay, take care, Brent. Um, so we were going to, I know, we were going to go to uh, emails out here. And uh, so let me start with the first one. We'll, 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 we'll kind of move back and forth in between emails and, and, the, and the markets. They, they may, in fact, just simply have us cover the markets, right? So uh, LC writes, and he says, hey, Steve, volatility seems to be dead at present. Yeah, maybe not so today. But let's continue reading. While the market makes all-time highs, I think we could be in for a correction in the short term. Well, look at how uh, uh, savant we have, uh, LC. And uh, could we be in a correction? Oh, I think we I think we could be in a correction in the short term. Do you see any bottoming signal for the UVXY? If so, what price projection would seem valid? So I, I'm just going to tell you, LC, um, I am not a trader of those um, – triple volatility uh, ETFs out here. Um, and so you, you, my suggestion is if you are, that you really uh, become a, a day-ish type trader versus a long-term type of uh, program. I always love showing you this chart out here. Here is all of the uh, reverse splits that have taken place. You can't see them all. Uh, but if you went ahead and you took a look at the vehicle UVXY, uh, this would be the uh, most expensive per share, I would think, ever sold out there. There are so many zeros out here. Um, I can't even tell you if it's 24 billion or trillion. Let me see if we can, well, how do I do that out here? Well, you can look at uh, my left-hand panel. It. I'll read it to you like this. Somebody tell me. It's 244800 three more zeros. I think that's $244 million per share for UVXY. UVXY, it's trading at 1730 right now. Nah, it's because it's a horrible vehicle. Be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, TAS understands that in today's technological world, the use of top-flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the TAS Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. 
Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back up, folks. So we're trying to take a question here from uh, Leo, um, uh, and uh, it's with regard to UVXY, and I just simply preface it. It's not a vehicle that I trade. I don't recommend anyone trading it. If you do trade it, make sure you are paying attention to the futures contract, which are the, um, are the items that are contained in that basket out there. Uh, what I can do is comment, LC, on, you know, you make mention that it's, uh, uh, the volatility seems to be dead at present. Uh, here's what I know. Here's what you know as well, which is that on Oct uh, October the 11th, we had the spot volatility index close below the 50-day exponential moving average out there. And we have seen the uh, S&P 500 continually march higher, uh, with today, in essence, being an exception at this stage out here. But the key is that the spot volatility index has been below that 50-day exponential moving average in the markets. The S&P specifically will do one of two things. It will trade higher to sideways. Uh, that is until we see the spot volatility index make a bottom. If you're asking me, has it made a bottom? I don't know. I think what you should just simply focus on at this stage of the game is where is the spot volatility index trading in relationship to that 50-day? So we can see it up here on my screen. You can see that right now the spot volatility index is at 1408. It's up a buck 22. That's the equivalent of 9.64 percent. But it is still below the 50-day level, which is 1429. So only 19 pennies. Now, those 19 pennies would probably, if you did see a close above that or at that level, uh, that would probably send, or not probably, it would go ahead and send the one-day rate of change above 10%. And when we see that inside the spot volatile index, you typically see a bouncer bottom, at least an overnight action or until the early morning inside the ES Mini. Usually it uh, moves over to the S&P 500 as well. So then in that case, you would expect the UVXY to, to back off at that stage. So uh, now we just may see a, a test of uh, resistance. That's the 50 day at this stage here and things pull back. But it is a level for you and I to be watching, uh, all of us to be watching. If you're long, if you're short, uh, look, if you're short, you're praying for the spot volatility to close over the 50 day. But really, quite frankly, you don't want it to do it today. Or you don't want to do it. You don't want spot volatility extending much beyond 14, 
probably 13 or 14 as a closing price. Otherwise, you get that one-day rate of change. By the way, that one-day rate of change, referring back to this chart out here and the blue arrows, is what we typically see occur. I say typically because it doesn't always have to, but the, the percentages, the probability, it's like over 80 80 percent, 80, 90 percent. It's it's a huge factor out there. So consider that and uh, in your trading and investing. I wish I could be a further help to you, Elsie, on that. It's just one of those vehicles where where I can't and I really would shy away from providing, you know, providing feedback on that. So um, it is what it is, as they say. Uh, so we've got another question here coming in from uh, PA. Oh, I apologize. Wait, we have a, we do have a caller on the line, I believe. Let's go to uh, is it Ron in Denver. Ron, do we have you? Hi, Steve. Good morning. Thank you for taking my call. You're, you bet. Sorry, I almost forgot that you were on the line, but uh, that's, that's right. okay. We've, we've got I was uh, looking to do a, a call spread on going out a few weeks on Google, and I just wondered, I was thinking of doing it now, or should you wait until to see what this, how, how much, or, or should I wait to see how, how, how long this chaos prevails that's going on today? Well, if I had the crystal ball, I'd look at it. Yeah, if I ha here's here's what I can share with you that can assist you w with maybe that decision making. And so, if we do take a look at Google right now, trade out twelve hundred ninety five dollars and trading uh, back inside its daily profile. So the top of that run is thirteen oh nine. The bottom of that box is twelve eighty, and the center is where it's trading right now. I think ideally for you, the uh, better place to put on that trade might be with price pulling back to support that 1280 level of the bottom of the profile. Now, there's no guarantee that price will get down there. Uh, so you, I, I can I can say, yeah, yeah, I can understand you stepping in now while price is at the center of the box. It's a slightly bullishly structured profile, meaning the center line at uh, 1294 is closer to the bottom, but just slightly so versus the top. So I, I'm going to consider this more of an equally weighted uh, TAS market profile. You know, and so support in this is really at, at 1280. But but look, you're at a spot right now where buyers and sellers are are conferring among themselves to figure out who's in control here, because they both <laughs> both believe between this 1280 and 1309 that they are the ones that are in control. And and I don't know which which one I is actually one correct. other quick question, if I may. <clears throat> yeah, I was in Amaron, A M R N, and I got out uh, last week at at 24. Okay. And they got uh, a bad comment yesterday, and it got hit hard. I'd okay. like to get back into some of it on AMRN. What price would you say would be a good one to get back in? So here, the daily uh, structured profile is actually bearish in, in, in structure. Here, 2223, which is the center of the box, and price is trading below right now, is much closer to the top, which was 2467. So there was your resistance. And support is 1734. My experience is in these profiles, especially if they're bullish or bearish in structure, that once you break through the, the uh, uh, I won't use, uh, yeah, I use the word, I'll use the Sondland. Uh, terminology log jam, which we were just really talking about the center line of that box where both buyers and sellers are that once you break that area and let's say break it to a downside in a bearish structured profile odds favor that you're going to go down and test the support level or the bottom of the box. So to answer your question, where is it you would entertain getting back into right now? The price level would be 1734. Um, I don't have any other pattern that I could share with you or show you um, that would assist with that trade. It does, It. Uh, I guess I, I would no. say it actually more this way. So 1734, but here's your caution signal. Your caution signal is at the end of this week, what uh, uh, AMRN could do is uh, generate a uh, significant topping signal. That's if it forms a bearish reversal candle. It's only Wednesday, so I don't know how this is going to trade. But uh, right now, it does, as long as it's halfway inside of last week's bar, which it is, it is a uh, bearish dark cloud cover candle. Now, in that case, the real key level to be watching would be 1816, Stevie's green line. So we've already suggested, hey, you stay out of this thing until price gets down to 1734. But what you're going to want to really watch this week is does it get down towards that level? Does it close below 1816 this week? And if it does, uh, then you are set up with uh, the potential that this thing really wants to pull back. When I say really wants to pull back, 
I mean, three dollars and fifty-two cents pullback. Yeah. You know, so. Yeah, one analyst suggested it was going to fall to seven. That's what, okay. That's what really made it so off. Um, well, yeah. if if they I got, were the they analyst, got FDA approval, which takes them from four million customers to over forty million, you know, with t high triglyceride, they got yeah. they're they were approved sixteen no sixteen and oh and the stock the, ran up. Sure. The only and, but, uh, some but what you and I Oppenheimer do. came out and said, in a few years they're going to have competition, and he thinks it's going back to seven. That's why it yeah. sold sold off. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I don't know what to to. to uh, I appreciate I'm just saying, your, your, your your numbers, though, and I, I yeah. thank you very, very much. Just a just a pattern person, and where support and resistance, and is there anything that would give you pause? Um, and and it's that weekly chart. So I think you've really got to be paying attention to both of those out there. Okay, Ron. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. You thank bet. You. Have a great uh, have a great day. That was Ron in Denver, Colorado. Dow's off two twenty two. We'll be right back. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, so uh, Sylvia had written in, wanted us to take a look at uh, Generic Holdings. That's ticker symbol GNRC. And Sylvia... 
uh, wants to know is it uh, is it still worthwhile to go long or should there be a pullback? Now, when we take a look at uh, this chart out here, price Sylvia is above daily, weekly, monthly uh, profile levels out there. So no real resistance. Uh, the long term, if I take a look at the monthly chart out here, you're going to see that uh, this week prices attained the one to 1.272 A to B equals CD, taking us all the way back to their IPO back in uh, the 2010 uh, timeframe. Now, the mere fact that it's achieved the uh, 1 to 1.272 expansion does not mean that it won't make its way up to the 1.618 area. Again, this is a monthly chart out here, and that price point is 114.63. So right now it appears that that's where it's targeting. The problem is you would like to buy this on a pullback. And if you did buy this on a pullback, well, the first levels of support uh, look like they're in the 83, that's at the top of the weekly box, 83.28. So about 11 bucks uh, below where it's trading right now, 89.39. Um, actually, that could be the first area. That's the top of its daily box out there. And the bottom is at 86.70. So I don't have any topping patterns for you. Um, out here, Sylvia, if I take a look at the daily time frame chart, uh, well, let me do a wave count. Just see what the uh, wave count was off of this. Uh, can't tell. Looks like this was the low out there. I, I, I don't have anything. Um, I, I just don't, you know, price is now starting to find resistance at Stevie's green line, but no topping pattern that I could definitively uh, share with you and say to you that, yeah, this is going to pull back. All I can do is say, hey, here's where support is at this stage. Uh, do the A to B equals CD pattern as we looked at on the larger term scale. And uh, I would say uh, just suggest, you know, stay away from the Sylvia. If you get a pullback, support holds. Ideally, there'd be some kind of bottoming pattern between 86.70 and 83.28 or 89.39, somewhere in that range out there. Um, you know, then then you could go ahead and consider doing it. But as a momentum play, um, that's a tough one uh, for me to uh, to call for you. So hopefully, just simply that analysis will assist you uh, with that. Justin writes in and he says, uh, "That was a very nice compliment." Uh, but I, I will, I will, I will. Thank you very much for your compliment, Justin. I, I just won't. Uh, probably not as appropriate to share with the folks out there. But um, uh, nothing bad, nothing bad, folks. Uh, very nice. Uh, so uh, yes, if we can take a look at gold today, has it bottomed? Or is there still another leg down? Thanks in advance. So let's go take a look at Goldilocks. Let's just simply come out here, see what gold. It's up a buck thirty right now. Fourteen seventy-five is what it's trading at. Is that fourteen seventy-five number important? Well, yeah. What's really important out here, uh, Justin, is uh, the top of its daily profile. The top of that daily profile is fourteen seventy-four sixty. You're at fourteen seventy-five sixty out here. And if price did close above that, you're going to see a little descending price channel out there. You know. Um, only if price gets above that would there be more of a counter trend rally or more of a rally is what I could say. And that uh, rally would or could take you up to the 1520 level. 1520 has been a real good cap on price since uh, the September area happens to be the center of its weekly profile out there. But uh, is there another leg to the downside? I anticipate that there is when that's going to get started. Well, um, could start any time. Uh, quite frankly, but price is up at a, a resistance area. And if it does close above 1474.60, I would say one would prepare for more of a counter trend rally. And we could do is uh, Justin has combined that along with Stevie's other chart out here where we can see that price is beginning to trade above Stevie's red line level. And that would also say more counter trend rally. Is it a bottom? Um, I can't call it a bottom, not because I don't want to call it a bottom. I can't call it a bottom just simply because I don't have a bottoming pattern or signal that is in place out here. And uh, what I should do, uh, just give me a second to actually do this, because it is really important uh, for Justin, for everybody else out there to see the bigger picture, perhaps, inside of Goldilocks. And the, the reason why I would say to you, hey, I can't call a bottom inside of gold not because I don't want to, but because the charts are saying not so fast. Now, right now, I'm just kind of delaying here a tactic, uh, waiting for the chart to populate. There we go. Okay. So, oh, oh, oh hold on a second here. Uh, Stevie, Stevie could be wrong. Well, how about that? That happens basically all the time. Now, what I meant by that is actually in the weekly time frame chart, which now we've got a competing top and a competing bottoming 
signal. The top is easy to see, and that's the road's momentum indicator pattern, and that formed out here on September the 27th. But what we can see is that last week, and last week's low, Justin is going to be more importante, muy importante. Why? Because it was bar number 10, or really the bar following nine of a TD setup nine count. And so therefore, gold may have bottomed, or at least bottomed from the standpoint that you could begin to see a counter trend rally up to 15.15. I wasn't paying attention to that. So this qualifies. I said I couldn't find a bottom. I couldn't on a daily chart. But I can on the uh, weekly time frame chart out there. So here's how you would play it. Here's how you would know. So 1515 would really be a target level. What was the profile level? 1520. Boy, if that doesn't make sense, what well, makes sense to Stevie? And so hopefully it makes sense to you as well. So here's the key. Watch that uh, 14. I'd say watch the channel line out there which has been really good about containing price. There was a break of it for a period of three days. That was October 31st, November 1st, and November 4th. And then price proceeded to get right back into that descending price channel out there. So it gets back to really our daily look, which if we see price close above that uh, channel line, we're looking at a move to about the 1520 level. So Justin, I hope that that helps you out with regard to any action, Jackson, that you might take out there. Chris B writes in, and Chris writes in and says, hey, I'm long SVM. Let's go take a look at SVM, put it up on our three time frame charts. SVM is a ticker symbol. That is a silver corp metals. You're in at about 60 cents. This is at 484. Man, what a nice trade you've got going on out there. Oh, 60 cents under where it's trading today. And don't worry, uh, Chris. Eventually, I will learn how to actually read. Um, thank God I can read charts. But uh, uh, it, you can see I'm not really good at... Uh, I'm good at doing two things at one time. Probably just the reading and, and managing all these charts and everything are just something I'm not really the greatest at, I suppose. But l let's get to your question, for goodness sakes. I'm thinking of adding to my position. seems to be in a fight uh, uh, in a tight consolidation for five days. Yeah, well, your consolidation, and here's your concern. Here's what I would say would be your concern. I see you got all these calculations and everything, Chris, and I very much appreciate that, but I think you just want me to get right to the charts out here. And if you take a look at Silver Corp Metals, uh, what you're going to see is that a brand new bearish structured profile formed yesterday. Again, bearish in structure because the top of that box is 493, the center 463, and the bottom or support way down below 404. So do you want to add to a position which is trading at 484? The stock is trading at 484 when you know you've got resistance at 493. That's the question you have to answer. Do you want to do that? Stevie says, mm, probably not. You want to try to find some better place to add. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in the Tax Opportunity Zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. 
From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. We're taking a look at Silver Corp Metals. SVM is the uh, ticker symbol for Chris B. And uh, so, Chris, so we were taking a look at that uh, uh, bearish structured TAS market profile. You can see the two shooting star candles out here, the one from November 15th and the one from November 19th. So you certainly know that there are sellers that are sitting there in that 493 uh, level. Um, nothing, nothing bearish just yet sellers that are present out there and I know that you're looking at the uh, at A to B equals CD patterns out here look if I just use the larger ones the larger one meaning go to the monthly time frame chart out here the monthly time frame chart says we would start down at around the January 2016 level I'm sure this is a different ABCD than what you were taking a look at but just I'm taking a look at a, what I don't want you to do the work that you've already done out here um, but here the A to B equals CD pattern that uh, could be in place Play, uh, would generate a move up to about 409 uh, I'm sorry 592 592 um, not that far from your 634 uh, level out there now the swing point that was taken out was uh, uh, from February of 2017 and there were 7 million shares and it was done with 34 million shares in August uh, just a few months ago so that's kind of like a confirmed A to B equals CD to the upside so I see that I get that you're in the money out here um, but is now the time to add uh, I'd say based upon the uh, uh, the daily signals out here, I, I would try to buy some type of deeper retracement uh, if I were you. So I hope that that helps. Thanks so much for uh, writing in. Uh, much appreciated. One other question out here. Always good to get to the questions and then uh, we can use the rest of the time to uh, go ahead and uh, Go ahead and, and take a look at uh, the markets or, or something else. So this one coming in from LB wants to know, uh, has natural gas uh, bottomed? Did it bottom today? So when we take a look at the natural gas, if we look at the uh, current daily chart out here, what I don't have LB is some kind of bottoming pattern. And with price still, it's a nice move today. No doubt about that. Um, however, uh, price still may be targeting $2.41. Uh, or two dollars and thirty eight cents the one to one a to b equals cd and the breakout area and the reason why you know i, I have to suggest caution we'll go we go take a look at some short-term charts i suppose but I, we actually we don't need to 267 uh, that is uh, stevie's oscillator and change line it is green as you can see and at this stage here price would need to close above that 
to really suggest to you and I that, okay, we don't have a bottoming pattern, but it looks like it bottomed anyways. Maybe it was just some, some kind of retracement or what have you, but it wasn't back to any key level that you and I can identify. So can I call this a bottom at this very moment? Really tough to do so. Really, really tough to uh, for me to to do that. And you know, if I just look at, um, let me just do this. Let me pull this over here for Lee. Let me get rid of this daily and take a look at the intraday time frame charts uh, uh, for Lee. Now, Lee, you're going to make the decision on this, not not me at this stage out here. Um, but we can see that price is running to support at the 60 minute time frame out here. Uh, that was uh, or or old support that may become resistance at 261. If you take a look at the 30 minute time frame, 261 is resistance. It is the horizontal green line out here. So if you're going to take a long position and think that price might get up to Stevie's green line on the daily time frame, which it very well could, I'll let price close over 261. Let it close over that two bars on a 30 minute basis. And then, you know, if you want to take the trade, but to answer your question, has it bottomed? All that I can say is it has not generated the type of bottoming signal that you and I would like to uh, see out there. So I hope that that helps you with your trading decisions. And thanks to you and thanks to everybody else that has uh, written in. Uh, much appreciated. Now, let's just go back and take a look at the overall market. So we had already discussed some of the things to look at coming into today's close. That one thing being the spot volatility index and where it's trading relationship to its 50 day exponential moving average out here. So we want to do that. Um, what else can we do? Oh, I know what we can do uh, you know, because this, I can provide you with some information that others uh, can't. If we go take a look at uh, what's the market breath doing? Uh, so good. I, I'm glad you asked that question. What is the market breath doing inside the uh, S&P 500? Voila. We can see on its speed dials, those are the upper right-hand corner. Uh, daily and weekly are still bullish. You would expect that. We are beginning to see a turn in a 60 and a 240-minute time frame. In other words, the dials are in red. That means there's been a, a bearish crossover, more instruments trading below the bottom of their profile levels for those respective time frames, 60-minute and 240, versus those trading above the top. Now, let's just go use uh, the 240-minute chart out here. We don't do that too often, but we can. Let's go see what it is doing, any kind of signals here. Remember, the chart or the patterns that I use are going to provide us with topping and bottoming signals, whereas the market breath is just telling us the condition, but it's not going to be an early warning signal out here. So let's go open up the 240-minute chart, see what it is we can see. Now, what we don't have out here in the 240-minute time frame chart is, is a, a topping signal or topping pattern. Doesn't matter. That's really not what we're interested. We're interested in understanding what is the 240-minute time frame chart doing right now. And this bar that is currently in is going to be bar number eight looks like this may form a TD setup nine count pattern now on a nine count pattern it could be bar eight nine or the bar following nine that would form that bottom so you're gonna have to wait this is a this is a four hour time frame it's not like you're gonna have any kind of um, any kind of uh, indication in any short order here but what you're also watching for folks is 30 86 75 if you get a TD setup nine count, this would take place in the uh, evening hours out here. Uh, and you do, and that does occur above 30, 86, 75. And especially if the spot volatility index has one day trade, one day rate of change greater than 10%. I hope that you are trading the futures out there because you can really adjust your stops and either flip the trade or or but know what to be looking for out here because it's not going to happen between now and uh, four o'clock. But price is trading down into support, just like we looked at in gold for a one hour time frame. We saw that TD set up nine count bottom. In essence, that's what it appears that the ES mini is going to do or is trying to unfold uh, as we speak right now. So that's the the other time frame was the 60 minutes. Let's go take a look at the 60 minute time frame. See if there's anything out here for the ES mini. We can do the same thing for the NQ. I don't know if we need to. I don't want to just totally use all our time inside the uh, inside the 60 minute time frame chart. All we have is potentially a series of A to B equals CD down patterns out here. Next level of support on it is 3086. I don't recall the number on the uh, on the four hour chart. It was what 3086. Well, the, how about that? Now those levels were attained two different. Well, using the same tool, but didn't come up with the same breakout levels. 
um, uh, because it used the exact same. It, it, it used an hourly chart versus a four-hour uh, chart out there. Uh, so, uh, but interesting enough, uh, 3086 is a pretty strong level of support out there, folks. So just be careful. Really strong level of support inside the ES Mini. So this is Steve Rhodes with TFNN. Uh, we're going to go to our last breakout here. We'll come back with a two-minute wrap. Um, see what else there is to uh, look at that might make sense for you. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful powered by highly concentrated fulvic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. This is David White. Stay tuned because coming up next is the Power Trading Hour right here on TFNN. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, one of our denners is asking about the 15-minute uh, time frame chart for the ES Mini. That's what's up on your screen right now. And as I was sharing with uh, him, Steve, that is, uh, what you can see is that on the 15-minute time frame chart, the uh, bottom, so far the low that's in, was formed on bar number eight of a TD setup nine count. It was confirmed the following bar, the nine count that is. And if there's going to be a bounce in this, what's it's already started, uh, what you're looking for is price may bounce up to 3108. Steve, that was the old support level. You were asking for support. I don't have any other support out here. So that would be the first place. Will old support be resistance? If not, the next level I'd be looking for is that little dark blue dashed line, 3112. That happens to be the daily 
oscillator on change line value. And the question is, where does the ES Mini close at the end of the day? And if it's a close above 31.12 uh, and a quarter, right now, what that's telling you is that today's action was nothing more than just a test of support. If it does close below that on a daily basis, I believe that'll be the first close we have below Stevie's green line, it's blue dashed line on this chart here, uh, in uh, quite some time. You were asking about a 60 minute time frame as well. Uh, the 60 minute, I well, I don't know, I, did, I thought we had covered that, but uh, support out here, 3086 is the uh, number. 3086 is support. Uh, that is the 60-minute uh, breakout area that would be next on any further move to the downside. So there's your 15-minute. There's your 60-minute uh, out there. And uh, not really much else for me to uh, share with you uh, folks out here. So uh, uh, be careful. Be careful. Be careful is uh, about the best thing that Stevie can uh, suggest to you. Just use those uh, stops. And uh, uh, thanks to everyone that has uh, uh, emailed me and uh, always makes the shows uh, much more fun for me, hopefully for you as well out there. And that way it's just kind of random. Hey, what are the instruments you're looking at? And then you and I just get to use the exact same tools. We apply in the same way. We're agnostic to the instrument or the time frame, and they help to guide us as to what to anticipate next. I'll tell you what to anticipate next. A great two hours. David White, followed by Obi-Wan Kenobi, and I'll be back with you tomorrow at 1 o'clock. So have a wonderful Wednesday. Take care.